Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like reselling content, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out. I appreciate it. I'm back today with another haul, but this haul is from the Goodwill Outlet in Los Angeles. I just got back from a thrifting trip with with my friend Ty, who's Lux Huntress on Instagram and now YouTube, so go subscribe to her. And we spent a Wednesday through a Sunday there, so it's like five days, and we thrifted for five days straight. It is extremely grueling. Again, I don't want to sugarcoat any part of my thrifting trips, our thrifting trips that we have together. We thrift from morning until night, and then once we get some dinner in us, we go back to where we're staying, and we start to sort and pack up our stuff. It's fun, <laughs> but it's extremely tiring. So I'm really happy to be home. However, now that I'm home, I have a lot of stuff. So I brought back, I kind of roughly totaled it up in my head, and basically it's close to 500 pounds. I believe Ty brought home, I think 500 pounds as well. So between the two of us, a thousand pounds of clothing. That's always so insane to say, a thousand pounds of anything. But really awesome because if it was going to go to the landfill, now it's it's being given a second life, as I like to say. So this will probably be the first of a few videos that I have of items that I will be showing to you that I picked up. There are some items that you will not see. I did send about six or seven bags of clothing to thread up. And then I also did two rounds of mystery boxes. The first round of mystery boxes that I did were all um, Brandy Melville items. And then the second round of mystery boxes that I did were just like mixed, you know, item. they weren't Brandy Melville, <laughs> they were just other items, uh, like Anthropology, Zara, Madewell, stuff like that. So if you ordered from me, I really do appreciate that. If you're thinking to yourself, I wanna order one, then sign up for my mailing list down below. I sometimes send out notifications through there or follow me on Instagram. I will post on there when I have mystery boxes available. All right, I think with all of that said, so those are the items that you won't see, but everything else I'm gonna show to you right now. I am sitting on the floor in my office because it's like so crazy in here that I'm just like, I have to sit on the ground. <laughs> okay, the first item that I'm grabbing is a shirt that I'm actually gonna keep. <laughs> I'm gonna let my husband try it on. It's theory, and it's just this gingham plaid button down shirt. It's his size, so I figured I would give it to him. If he does not wanna keep it, and then I'm gonna sell it so there's that uh, the next item let's see I'm just grabbing stuff so some stuff I have photographed and that's actually why I want to film this haul because I'm weird and OCD and I have to have a pattern for how I do things so this stuff has all been photographed and now I want to inventory it but I can't do that till I film the video blah blah okay next item is this intimately free people slip dress it's a size extra small that's with the intimately free people tag looks like sometimes looks like etc so this is just like a little lightweight I don't know camisole slip dress it is it does have these like high slits because it's like a midi or maxi length so there's that I should set that over there I was gonna steam that so I haven't photographed that one yet okay this brand mm, was new to me but I'm not going to tell you what the comps are for each individual item when I am at the Goodwill outlet I do run comps on the items and so the stuff that I've purchased, I've either purchased it because I feel like the comps are in, on resale are good for the item, or I just think it's awesome, unique, and I had to buy it and save it from the landfill. I do remember the comps on this brand being good. It's called Tallow. So that's what the tag looks like. I was not familiar with this brand before picking it up. It is a size US 2. It's kind of strappy and the straps have come undone, but I think it's a romper. I haven't photographed this one also because I think I wanted to maybe steam it. No, it's just a short little dress. Sorry. <laughs> this looks all crazy, but it's like an apron style dress. And it has this. <laughs> it's just, you can't really see, but that's that's it. Okay, this I set to the side. I hadn't photographed this because I needed to depill it, but the brand is out from under. And it is sold at Urban Outfitters. That is like a super tiny tag, but that's what it looks like. This is a size large and it's just a ribbed 
uh, tank with the high low hem. All right, next item is, what is this? Oh, this is a Ted Baker blazer. So the reason I haven't photographed this one yet is I saw a flaw somewhere on it, I thought. Maybe there was no flaw on this one. I just wanted to hang it and I hadn't hung it. Anyways, it's a Ted Baker blazer and naturally had to pick this up. This is a size, it's a men's obviously. Uh, size three, so not sure what that means. I'll obviously look up their sizing chart, but yeah, set that there. Okay, what's this? Oh, I think this was, so this is all mixed together. If you follow me on Instagram, you may or may not have seen from my Instagram stories, my friend Ty, Lux Huntress, she took a video of me while we were at the bins. I hit this amazing patch of really awesome, nice, nice to designer clothing. Nice, I'm like mid to high end designer clothing. Just this one patch. It was like Christmas in a bucket, big blue bucket bin. So this was one of the items that was in there. The comps on this are good. Like, I don't think they're insane and I can't remember I'm off the top of my head. But anyways, this was what the, one of the items was. Sarah Pacini, mm, never heard of it. It's made in Italy. I don't know where the sizing information on here is. Oh, it's on the inside. Size one. So again, not sure what the sizing is on this, but it's just a long maxi, like super flowy skirt. It just, it feels so nicely made. So yeah, I was stoked to find this. So that's the brand. So I'm not gonna show you all of those items that I picked up that were in that bin in one like fell swoop. It's kind of all mixed in. So watch all the videos and you'll see all the stuff that I got because I got some really awesome stuff. <laughs> not bragging, um, just happy. <laughs> okay, this is, the brand is Kodo. There's a little fuzz there. I believe this is sold at Urban Outfitters. I think this is a men's brand because I think this is a men's jacket. So I have not photographed this one. I'm just keeping this stuff separate. What is this? Oh, this is just a little rando, but this is a Stussy t-shirt. It's a size medium. I picked up a Stussy item recently and if it does say Stussy on it, I think it helps it sell better, which most Stussy stuff does say Stussy on it. So this one isn't yeah, I was gonna say, is it stink, single stitch? But it's not. So I was gonna, I was wondering if it was vintage. No. So there's that. Okay. These are a pair of ASOS denim 2830 women's white jeans. I think there's like a little spot or something somewhere over here. I did not attempt to get it out because I think it'll be fairly easy for somebody to do that. So I'm gonna let them do that. Also, I apologize if you can hear my fan in the background. I'm in my garage, it's a little bit warm, so if you hear the humming, oops. Okay, this brand is a kid's brand I'd never heard of. It's called Chicati Paris, size 18 months. It's kind of hard to see there, but there we go. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I looked up comps and the, on this brand and they're pretty good. So if you see it, maybe pick it up. All right, this brand is Spider. Not sure if you guys are familiar with this. S P Y D E R. They make outdoorsy wear. So when I saw that little logo, I grabbed it. Comps on Spider can be pretty good sometimes. Okay, these are a pair of. I actually bought these for my son when I first saw them, and then I decided against them because I think the fit might be a little too snug. They are a size nine. They're Zara kids. They do have the elastic waist, but they're just skinny blue jeans and I can't tell if they're girls or boys and they could be unisex but I just thought they were like a touch too skinny for him to wear so I'm gonna pass on those and sell them this is I think this is new without tags just based upon the tag that's here and just the condition of the jacket in general but this is a Disney store size 4 um, Star Wars jacket it's in really great condition and I'm not sure which character this is, though I have seen all the movies. It does say BB-8 on there, and I know who that is, but anyways, there's that. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from any of my hauls, my email is down in the description. You can check out my store, or you can email me directly. I'm mostly good about getting back to people in a timely manner, and I apologize if I haven't gotten back to you. Um, 
Okay, next item. This was new to me. It's called Cat Katmandu Imports. I did look up comps on this and they were pretty good. This is a size medium skirt. It's got some embroidery here on the bottom. I think it's linen without even looking at the tag. This is a Burberry, as you can tell from the print, Burberry London, size small, little toddler's dress. It does tie in the back shirt. I'm not sure. Where's that? All right, so this was in that little designer pile, patch, whatever you want to call it, but it is, can you see it? Givenchy? Can we see it there? I can't say it without smiling, right? Because how often do I get to say Givenchy? So these are a size 42 women's pants made of viscose, polyamide, and elastane. They're just like black leggings. And here's the back. They have this gold zipper down the back. Um, they're in really good condition. So I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was excited about that. <laughs> Um, this is another really awesome item that was also in that patch of good stuff. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted about this uh, recently. And it is this pair of a brand I never heard of called Joseph Leggings. They are made of leather and they have a tag on them. They're new with tags and they're $1,375 retail. You weren't looking at the screen you might have looked up for that uh <laughs> naturally i was super excited to find this see this i think it says size 40 which was on that tag but anyways yeah i don't know who donates green leather leggings brand new with tags but i want to meet this person and be their friend <laughs> i feel like i'm already their friend so yeah all right this is a Pendleton skirt and it's a size 14 it's in really good condition I didn't see it's obviously wool I didn't see any holes or anything it is pleated yeah okay next item is a pair of Adriana Goldschmied the Ferris skinny uh, jeans these are like velvety and they're a size 30 R and they're kind of like a dark gray. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think they're like a charcoal gray. All right, this was also in that pile of amazing stuff. I'm like, maybe most of the amazing stuff is here. <laughs> oh well. Uh, <laughs> so these are rag and bone and they are a size small. I thought maybe at first I was like, are these men's? But they're women's, they're like, a, they're a trouser. And what's cool about them is down here at the bottom, it kind of, like opens it's got a side slit at the ankle which is kind of fun I thought so yeah this was in that pile of really cool awesome stuff that I found but there okay next item I don't know how you say this but I'm gonna just try again this was in that really great pile so the brand is La Agence I don't know if that's how you say it but they're size 29 they are modal cotton polyester and spandex so they look like a faux leather legging, skinny, nothing special to the ankles. Yeah, there's that. Okay, this skirt I believe is Walter Baker and it is a size two. Really cute, shimmery, gold, iridescent. All right, these are a brand I'd never heard of before. I did look up comps and they were good from what I remember. But the brand is called Diego Milano and they're size 36. This is what the tag looks like. And it's like a coated denim. I believe these are men's. They're kind of interesting looking. Here's the back. It reminds me of like a Star Trek symbol. For all my Star Trek fans and friends. <laughs> I grew up watching that. So here's what they look like. Yeah, they're cool. I've now gotten into the habit of looking up any denim that is new to me. So that's my new jam. It's looking up all denim. All right, this is Trina Turk. It is a open front cardigan. It's gray and it's got this sparkly metallic threading all throughout it. The size is possibly not listed. Oh, it's 
12% mohair. Yeah, I'm not seeing a size. What is this little tag? That's all faded. But it's kind of bigger. I would say it's like a medium large, if I had to guess. Okay, this is some older Rebecca Taylor. I've never seen this Rebecca Taylor tag. Sorry if you can or can't see it. It kind of looks like the baby fat tag. Check it out. Doesn't that look like it with those two Persian cats? Anyways, this is a size 8 blazer polka dot. Cute. Um, Next is... What am I going to do with this pile? Sorry. <laughs> it's what you get with people who don't edit their videos. All right. Next item is... I think this is ASOS. Yeah, it is. It's an ASOS dress. It's a size extra small. Hopefully you know what ASOS looks like. Like a little camisole, very lightweight, sheer, rose gold, slinky dress. It's very cute. So there's that. This is, I believe, Chaser. That's what the tag looks like. Size small, open front, patchwork, cardigan. Um, next. This isn't vintage, but it's just like, she's awesome, so I had to buy it. But it's a Janet Jackson t-shirt. And this is a size medium, and it's from her 2017 tour or performance at the Hollywood Bowl. There's that. <clears throat> okay, next I have a Free People dress. This is a size zero, and it's got very heavy embroidery all over it. No pockets. Lace up in the front. I think I said the size already. Okay, next is this Isabelle Marant, uh, what would you call this, blazer, jacket? I'm like, what, what would you call that? <laughs> With the buttons, that's what the tag looks like. The size on this is a 44. Okay, this is really funny, I forgot about this. So look, they wrapped <laughs> the buttons that come on the inside. I mean, cool, but it's like in tin foil. <laughs> But it's funny, they didn't do it to that button. But anyways, the other two buttons, they wanted to keep them intact, I guess. I'm curious if it came that way or if they did that themselves. I'm guessing they did that themselves. But genius. Okay, next is a Tory Burch turtleneck sweater. This is a size extra small. I think it's got to be cashmere, possibly. Some sort of, oh, did, I don't think this one had a fabric tag. Yeah, it feels like, oh, maybe mohair. Cashmere mohair, I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, next, I think this is a, I always forget with the buttons, and I know I say that in every video, and somebody's going <laughs> to, somebody's going to let me know, which you should, but this Mason Scotch shirt, I can't remember if this is a men's or a women. So the sizing is size three, clearly that is their sizing, but this is a really fun shirt. Look at the embroidery there with the lions. Is that a lion? But anyways, this is it. Super awesome. Okay, next is, uh, I've got two of these dresses, so they're not the exact same, but the brand is Knitted Dove, which is sometimes sold at Anthropology. This is a size small, they are linen, and these are really fun, beautiful dresses. Like, look at these, look at them. They have pockets. Okay, so here's the first one, and this is the second one. I think it's also size small. and then here's the bottom pretty super pretty need to get those listed before summer is over okay next is a free people dress I'm don't think it's a tank this is a size extra small and it's got a high low hem paisley wonderfulness Ta -da. okay this is also free people so there is some pilling to this it's not like bad it's not balls but it's just more like you know it's kind of the fabric has started to fade a little it is a size small but it's this cool little cropped hoodie kind of like a what color would that be mauve speaking of mauve not quite this is Maeve but they're similar similarly spelled so this is old tag Maeve so I cannot for the life of me figure out what the size tag here says Maybe it says extra small. I can't read that. I hate, they write it in cursive, mm, right? Like, what does that say, if you can even see that? Anyway, um, I'll figure it out. It's a lavender dress with, oh gosh, I 
gosh, what do we call this? Oh, it's gonna, it'll come to me. What do you call this with those, these little bumps on here? Oh man, that's gonna bother me. One of you knows it and you're gonna put it in the comments for me, please and thank you. All right, this is a men's shirt. It's Brooks Brothers, it's a size 1734. It was in good condition, so I picked it up. All right, next item is For Love and Liber Liberty. I think this is Johnny Was. Isn't it For Love and Liberty Johnny Was? Anyways, it's a size small. Here it is. Oh, maybe here it is. <laughs> no, it doesn't want to show itself. But it's an open front cardigan, gray. The material tag has been cut. So, wool, I think. <laughs> All right, next is a Free People knit sweater. This is a size medium. And purple, one of my favorite colors. There's that. Uh, here's another fun find. This is a Max Mara blazer. It's like a kind of a yellowy beige color. Oh, I'm not sure. And then it's got these ties in the front, so I guess you could tie it into a bow. And then the size is maybe somewhere on here. Mm-mm. I don't know. Well, anyways, there's that. Next is a Prana tee, long sleeve tee with a hood. Dun, dun, dun. Good outdoorsy brand. Put that there. Uh, next is a men's Peter Millar button front shirt, button down shirt. This one's a size extra large. This is a Mark. Jacobs, not marked by Mark Jacobs. It's Mark Jacobs, size extra small. This feels like silk. Yes. Silk top. It's kind of like a, almost a yellowy ivory. I'm not sure how to describe that. Because it's not quite ivory, even though it might look that, that way in the video lens. There's a small little spot here. I wonder if I captured that when I was taking the photograph. I'll follow up, but I'm not. <laughs> Uh, next is Spiritual Gangster. This is a size small. Kind of hard to see that tag. Ignite your spirit. There you go. Next is, oh, <laughs> I had to get this one. This is just Forever 21 Men and it's a size medium, but it is a Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles t-shirt. Ta-da. I have been there. I went there back in <laughs> I'm like, how old am I? <laughs> Went there back in like 2002 or 2003 when I moved to California and lived there for a short period of my life. And it was delicious. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a Giorgio Armani Le Colezioni, size 38 4 top. I'm guessing this is a women's. Again, I could probably tell from the buttons. But I, I refuse to memorize that. Um, well, I'm like, it's probably the same as this. So it's a women's. It's a women's. Okay, this is Emporio Armani. This has got to be silk just from the way it feels. Just the silver, silvery? Gray? Button down shirt. Yeah, here's the tag. What is it? Is it silk? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's actually really pretty. Uh, let's see. Next item is, oh, just a nasty gal dress. I'm so wishy-washy on picking this brand up, but this one was cute. It's a size small. It's gold. There it is. Okay, this next one's a fun one. It's a fur coat. Now, sorry if you don't like fur. I, I, that's all I have to say. Sorry if you don't like fur. It's vintage, so it, this has been around for a while. The brand is Gross. Furs? I, I swear that's what it says. It's gross furs. Is that what it says? Yeah. Gross furs? <laughs> San Bernardino. Um, yeah, here it is. Dun, da, da, da. I actually put it on and it fits me. So it's probably a size extra large. It's got like a little inside pocket here. There is some uh, like loose stitching. It's not terrible. Like somebody just needs to restitch it down. It's truly not that bad. The condition of the coat is very good. I think there must have been two, so I picked up one, and then this guy at the end of the day came up to me and asked me if I wanted to buy his, to which I said no. At first I thought he was giving it to me, which I said like, yeah, you're more than welcome to give it to me, and then I was like, oh, he wants me to give him money for this, like, 
no, I already have one. And getting one home is already going to be a pain in the butt. So, all right, next is this J. Crew cardigan. I think that's what it is. Like jacket cardigan, like open front. It's a size small. It did does. It did does. It has some pilling here on the back, which I used a little bit with my trusty sweater shaver here. And then I got bored, so <laughs> I did it the best I can. And obviously I'll disclose that there's a little bit more work to be done and somebody else can do that work. Okay, this I got really excited about. It is a vintage champion jacket. And you're like, cool, but no, it says NASA on it. Ah! So I looked up comps and I couldn't find anything for this exact one, which is not surprising because it is vintage. Now it looks like Champion has since done some sort of newer collaboration with NASA and the new ones are selling for 200. So I'm like, cool, well, can the old one sell for 200 too? Who knows? It did come with a hood that tucks back underneath here. It is a size medium. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm gonna own the market on pricing that since there's no other ones around. I'll look probably to see if there are other champion vintage jackets that are collaborations with other companies or things that'll help me kind of gauge what the value is this uh ty actually picked this up and didn't end up getting it it is a vintage bugle boy size large men's shirt this took me back to my youth so i had to get it I wonder if my husband will want that. Hmm. I didn't even ask him. I didn't know if he would want it. Okay, next is, I think this is a women's. It's a Nike? Adidas? What is it? It's Adidas, but it says James Harden care of Adidas basketball. So it must be just like a collaboration with him. And I did look up comps on this and they were really good. So it's cr kind of cropped. It's got cropped sleeves and it's a size small. There's that. Okay, this was awesome. I just had to pick it up. It is a vintage golf shirt. The brand is called Winter Mate. It's a size large and I just liked the style of it. I thought it kind of looked cool. A little bit of Charlie Brown vibes there. This is just an American Apparel bodysuit that I thought looked awesome. American Apparel stuff. Um, some of the items actually do have a good return on investment, so I do still pick it up. Okay, this is a bicycling shirt. The brand is called Capo. So I looked it up and apparently it was a good brand. This says made in Italy. And so yeah, this is what it looks like. I have made good money off bicycling apparel. So I encourage you, if you see it, look it up because maybe you can make some good money off of it. Okay, this was also something Ty picked up and I took. She didn't want it. It's called Andrew's Blues. It's size medium. It's just a vintage little crop top thing. So it does have some staining on it, but I'll just disclose that. This is a, it feels like um, Angora. Is it Angora or would it be like a rabbit fur? I'm not sure what this is. Rabbit hair, little vintage top. I don't know. There's no tags or anything on it. So I just kind of bought it. This is a like wrap of some sort. <laughs> I don't know if it's vintage, but it's cool looking. It does have a stain on it, which is right there. So obviously I'll price accordingly, but it's got these little birds on it. It's a poncho. That's what I meant to say. It does have armholes here. There are no tags or markings on it. So, you know, I'll just figure it out. Okay. Here's another one, Joseph. So if you remember the leather leggings, those were $1,375. So this one is not new with tags, but the, it is the same brand. It's a sparkly sweater and there's no size on it. But anyways, there's two, I had two. This is Citron Santa Monica. It's a size medium top, <laughs> tank top. This brand was good. I looked it up. This, so this is new to me. It's called Joestar. It's made in the USA. So that's kind of why I looked it up. Size extra large. Kind of reminds me of, what's it called? Is it like Comf Comfy USA? <laughs> what is the brand called? <laughs> I think that's what it's called. So yeah. Uh, is that it? I think this item was in there too. 
Oh yeah, and I didn't. I don't think I even photographed this one because maybe it needs to be washed. Yes, it does. But it is a theory sweater. It's a size small, and there's a stain somewhere here. But it was just really cute, so I picked it up. So that's part one. I'm looking at a monstrous pile that's just like right over yonder from the camera. That I'll probably split up into at least two to three more hauls. And I also have some shoes and some handbags. So we got a lot of good stuff still coming. I did not show all the designer items. So stay tuned. More exciting stuff coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day.